Hello guys, welcome back to Good Travel Tips. Good morning everyone, this is Shahin. So in this video, I would like to talk about the unresponsive touch screen for the Xiaomi devices. And it is really horrible when you're using your devices and it's in between, you're not able to use your touch screen, it's not working so properly, something ended up, so it's, it's really disgusting. So before getting to the real part, I would like to notify you guys of why this happens. This is not only because of the hardware issues, but due to sometimes even software issues can cause these issues. So let's check out what are the real symptoms that can be noticed and how we can overcome these. So the first one is always make sure the screen is always clean. You know, we use it daily and we use it for all our purpose and make sure it's completely clean. In most of the cases, people get in busy and they forget it. So always make sure it's completely clean and it is completely fine. So we just have to go for it. So now just unlock it once again. And now here comes the second one. So once after cleaning it, always make sure while you use your hands, make sure it's not wet, it's not of any kind of oilies are there, not kind of grease while you're using it, when you're swiping up, drawing the notification bar, make sure there is no wet in your hands, there is no grease, there is no oily thing. So if it is so, it's gonna damage your devices. So in the third one, we'll come into the first, always make sure the power saving mode is not enabled. In the most of the cases, if already mentioned in the previous video, what happens if the power saving mode is enabled when it comes to the Wi-Fi, when it comes to the Bluetooth, and when it comes to the unresponsive touch screen. So if the power saving mode is enabled, make sure it is disabled. Then try once again, maybe there will be a change. So here comes the very most important thing. So we all use our devices and we complain when there is an unresponsive touch screen. So there are main three reasons which I would like to notify you guys. So the first one, always use the original adapters while you're charging it and now you have to use the original adapters do not use the duplicate adapters always use the original adapters not only the adapters when you're going for the cable also always use original cables because these are very very important to all my viewers outside there because if you're not using this you have going to have a lot of problems in your devices so just keep it away and comes the third one so what is we just use our devices to transfer files and we connect it to a pc so i would suggest do not for any reasons do not connect your device or charge your device while connecting to the pc this will make a lot of problem in your device so keep this always in your mind so uh, the third one is the most very important part you know we just connect our device to the pcs or to the laptop so it's fine but always make sure you do not purposefully connect your device to laptops in order to charge it if you're doing so, it's gonna damage your device, it's gonna make a lot of problems to your thing. So make sure you're not charging with laptops connections. Always go for the plug, use the adapters, use the cable and charge it. So why because you know why this happens is because there will be a voltage fluctuation, there will be a voltage drop, which is going to harm your own devices where your safety I'm talking in between. So always make sure for the purpose of charging use the proper method that is use the cable use the adapter and just switch to the 230, 230 volt supply you do not use laptops in order to charge your devices so in some cases we might be using several kinds of apps for our devices so most of the cases the recently app you installed or you downloaded may be the reason for the unresponsive touch screen so in order to avoid it there are two options either we have to delete the respective app Okay, just delete the respective app and uh, just go for it, just delete it, so this will be fine. So if it's still having any kind of issues, either you can update the app for the same thing or else, you know, apart from these also, make sure that the system device, I mean the system is updated to the latest update available, go for it. And also keep in mind that do not download any kind of apps or any kind of things from a third party or third website. Always prefer Play Store in order to do any kind of updates or any kind of downloading purpose. So these all will give you a good results. If you're not going to or following this, this will going to make you the unresponsive touch screen. So coming to the end part related to the unresponsive touch screen, I would like to notice every single person here, always make sure the device memory is not full. So if so, but you always keep a space empty in order to further further proceedings. So if it is full, you know, there are a lot of issues it's going to happen. So make sure the unwanted things are always deleted from the file managers. So because if it is so, it's going to make you a lot of trouble. So if there is any kind of very important files, you better transfer those to any kind of PCs or laptops and make sure it's all get protected. So this is very, very important one. So the last one, the least, always make sure, you know, the touch screen is not occurring because you just explode on your device to the ground. So because while using, sometimes what happens is the device may get damaged falling from yourself to the ground. So if there is some of that kind of issues before getting so much money spending over the display or changing kind of these things, make sure 
what is the actual part so in order to do this there is one simple trick this is not actually a trick this is already common so i just want to remind you guys so you have to do this so just type star hash star hash and uh, we have to type uh, 6484 then hash star hash star so now it's take to another one so i just wanted to check the touch sensor so it's it's it's, it's working fine so just tape over here and this comes so now i'm going to do this so same way i'm going to do this so this is just showing us whether there is an issue with our touch screen so all the corners all the mid portions everything's are working fine so let me go down here so and also here so in this means the touch screen is fine for my device so if you if there is any kind of issues for your device if you're doing this it won't work fine so which means there is an issue with the touch screen so you have to meet an expert find the remedies for this one so guys that's all about the unresponsive touch screen so as you can see here this is these are the silly issues that most of the times of course these are because of our careless so i just just want guys to always go through these what it's i mentioned over here so make sure there is no kind of issues over here so if you have any kind of doubts you're free free to ask in the comment sessions if i'm having the time our team will be getting you back to the comment sessions and so that's all about it so don't forget to subscribe our channel and turn on the bell icon for further notifications so this is shahim signing off from get tips Thank you.